Okay, so if it's one thing I love, it's flip clocks. There's just something undeniably cool about these little things. Um, analog display, little neon light, night light. Um, obviously, this is a mains powered one. Um, but don't worry about that. That just makes it absolutely deadly accurate. Um, the best ones, in my opinion, tend to be, well, the best and most the most commonly easy to find ones are the cobbles. So, cobble made in Japan, late 60s, early 70s. This is a pretty common uh, cobble, 227, uh, just with the alarm and the clock. The only problem is with these, they suffer from this motor. Well, they don't suffer from it, it's a fantastic motor, but <laughs> like everything, nothing lasts forever and they do break down. Uh, they usually break down in two ways, either they burn out, and when I say burn out, uh, the coil, which is how this motor works, it's basically a magnet inside. Once, if the coil burns out and breaks the connection, that's it, you can't fix them. Uh, it's the windings, once that winding has a break in it, it no longer it no longer creates the magnetic field and it breaks down. That's not so much a problem on the couples. The main problem is, uh, that I think I've worked out, is this flywheel. The flywheel that spins, uh, when the clock's in motion, uh, you can see the flywheel through that little window there. It just, because it's so silent, it, Gives you it gives you an idea or it, it tells you that the clock's working because you can you can see it spinning if I turn it off see that's what it looks like if I turn it back on again it starts up again uh, now that's not just decorative that serves a purpose that flywheel because uh, that flywheel directly connects to the main cog inside that drives the motor so how the motor works is Underneath there, you can see, I'll not stop, uh, you can see inside, that's the, sort of the, mag the magnet, uh, how it's wound inside. I mean, if you look at videos online, there are videos of couples where they take them apart and you can see the windings. So inside, underneath that cap is a magnet and inside the inside layer of that cap is a little metal strip and it's, uh, it's repelled by the magnet, which causes it to spin, and that's what causes it to drive the output shaft, which drives the flip-clock mechanism. Now, what seems to happen is, because there's a gap here, and it's not a sealed unit from this side, the dust build up over the years, it gets inside that cap, and it seems to coat the metal strip and I guess it, once it hits the point where there's too much of that dust on that metal strip, it's, the motor just stops. It doesn't work anymore. Uh, now this clock, that happened too. And I just put it to the side and uh, it's been sitting there ever since. And I bought a replacement. And after about six months, the replacement stopped. So, I wasn't very happy. So I thought I'm gonna, I'd heard about this strip inside the cap before, and I thought I would have a go at cleaning it. So I cleaned my other one, and it works fine now. So I pulled this one out of the storage this morning, and cleaned it, and it's running again. Yet yeah, this one refused to start up. So I'm gonna try and explain how I did it. Because this cap, you can't remove it. Well, you can't remove it easily. I mean, I've broken these things apart many times, and I think if you once you pull this cap off, that's it, because the the gearbox on this side is sealed and it's part and part all connected inside. Basically, you don't want to pull this cap off. You don't need to either if you do it this way. I'm going to show you. Okay, so let's stop this. I'll unplug that just in case. So inside the motor 
right at the back of the cap. You can see, you can see that there's a small cutout. As you see, there's a silver plate behind, and there's a small cutout section here at the top there. And what you're going to need is like a jeweler's loop. And let's see if I can. Uh, See if I can position. I was going to take some still photographs, but I might be able to position it and then use the loop just to show you. Okay, so is this going to work? Basically, what I found is in this position. stand it up however you want you want to look you want to have it obviously unplug it don't have it plugged in uh, and you want to look for this not here you want to look for this gap here now when you look inside the gap oh, it's not going to be really can't really see See if I can. Uh, is it going to work? Well, basically, right. Get the jeweler's eyeglass, get it up against here, and when you look inside and turn it, you will be able to see that there's a there's a copper strip or a copper. I don't know. It's a metal coloured strip. There's a different colour to this material and it's on the inside of this wheel. Now, what I used was a little uh, pipe cleaner. It's a pipe cleaner. Um, just some some isopropanol, 99% alcohol. Now, I move the with this in that gap. I poked, I soaked this in, in that, and I poke it through. And I've uh, I keep, you know, you've got to do it once, take it out, poke it through there, take it out. I mean, it only takes a few minutes. Try not to touch the alcohol under the print on the flywheel because it will rub it off. Uh, because it's alcohol at the end of the day, it's like a thinner almost. And so it only takes a few minutes. So, but you've got to try and make sure, you'll see that there is a gap. You've got to try and make sure that the pipe cleaner is actually running on, onto the strip on the inside of that cap. And then I just go around. I mean, don't be frightened to use to have this nice and wet because it all evaporates off anyway. So I just I did that and then just give it a minute to dry. I plug it in and it's uh, it started up again. I'm really quite pleased with that because I had almost written this clock off. Uh, I'd only kept it for parts if I needed them. Well, I hope that uh, I hope that helps someone bring one of these little, these amazing little clocks back to life, because uh, they are cool. Okay, thanks. Let me know in the comments if uh, if this works for anyone. But remember, it's that little strip on the inside of the cap that you need to be cleaning, uh, and you will see that. You will see that if you use the loop. Okay.